Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm doing a trailer reaction to Greenland, trailer number 2, 2020. So I end up having to read the synopsis a little bit just because I was trying to look for a picture and end up reading it. So it's about them escaping a comet destroying world. That's all I know. So outside of that, I don't know anything about this trailer. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I think that pretty much sums it up though. And it's Gerard Butler. What is it? What's going on? Train derailed across the highway. If you are hearing this broadcast, seek shelter immediately. What do you think it is? No idea. Oh, yeah, John, go! Show your back! Cover Nathan! Why would you be flying a helicopter through there? The only thing people want to talk about today is this interstellar comet called Clark. NASA is saying it appeared out of nowhere from like a different solar system. This is the fragment entering the lower atmosphere. Three, two, one, and impact. What is the explosion? What's a chunk of rock? Rocks don't explode. <laughs> yeah, tell that to the dinosaurs. The sky's on fire. Come on, let's go. Wow. With the largest fragment expected to hit in less than 24 hours, space agencies are expecting an extinction-level event. The greatest chance of survival are the bunkers in Greenland. Oh, we're gonna go. Gotta go now. Okay. Oh man. Such a brave guy. You know that? That's pretty terrible. I will say. We are not get us into those bunkers. Makes me think about like, what would you do to survive, basically? Greenland, rated PG-13, on demand everywhere, December 18th. Well, it's already out. <laughs> All right, let's go to trailer. So yeah, I mean it's it's kind of terrifying to think about things like this, but let's go over to trailer real quick. So you know the train got derailed, and then all of a sudden they hear something over the radio saying, "But if you're hearing this, take cover now." Like they should have had plenty of time. I think they should have had plenty of time to uh, prepare for this, because I, we have satellites scanning our solar system everywhere. I mean, we're not going to catch everything, obviously, but I think whenever things are coming closer towards us, I think we tend to pick up on that. Unless, somehow, maybe they, they'll explain in the movie that there's a reason why this one wasn't picked up. Maybe it was too small, too fragmented to really pick up. But I don't know. Whew. And it makes it seem like, well, so how did this happen? Well, maybe they're trying to get away. Probably. And this is in the middle of the film, not at the beginning. Like, we did like a, f a fragment of the comet just went ahead like three days early. It's like, hey, I'll get there first and then I'll let you know. <laughs> so I'm not sure if they were trying to get to Greenla uh, Greenland at that time either. Clark made of multiple fragments. Extinction level comet. What do we have against these things, you know? Whew, man, Sydney. Eiffel Tower in France, Paris. I think it's in Paris. Good. Wow, look at that crater. All those craters, Jesus. It makes it seem like Independence Day is hitting all the freaking, you know, popular joint. People that know this, like, oh, that's the Eiffel Tower. I know it. It's destroyed. That's Sydney, the, uh, I think that's the opera area right here. I can't remember. I know it's, I can't remember what it's called. I have not heard it said very much, but if you tell me, I'm sure. Like, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the opera houses? I can't remember. Well, at least they didn't show freaking uh, Statue of Liberty or Mount Rushmore or... The Big Ben clock or um, the Great Wall of China, you know, Just all these other, other stuff. The Taj Mahal. It's running. I mean, so basically they just let everyone know, like, if you want to survive, you have to get here. Could you imagine, man? What would you do to, what would you do to ensure your, you and your family's survival? Good lord. It 
is that? What is that? This is not Africa. It doesn't look like South America because there's nothing. Oh, it's Greenland actually. Because I, th I think that's Iceland up north. I'm sorry. This would be Iceland, and Greenland would be up north because Greenland's actually ice covered, and Iceland's actually greenly covered. Someone mislabeled the islands. Oh, I wonder. Uh, did they? Is Greenland gonna actually be like green and luscious and foresty? Oh, I wonder if they got that wrong. I know. I know. It's. It's like. I know Greenland's supposed to be ice, and Iceland's supposed to be green. I don't know why they were named like that, but I'm sure someone out there knows. But it's just, oh, I hope they don't. I hope they didn't get that mixed up. <laughs> so, anyways, and I don't know if there's actually bunkers out in Greenland and Iceland. I know there is in like Antarctica because that's where a lot of our stuff is stored for preservation purposes, or for whatever reason. It's just because it's the coldest place on Earth, and everything can be preserved there. So it's basically a, a gigantic bunker. I don't know if there's any other bunkers anywhere else though. All right, so my rating for this, I think I'll give this a 3.5. I do want to watch it, but it's not necessarily, actually, I wouldn't mind watch it right away. But I think the trailer did a decent job. It's a very simplistic story again, you know, no real bad guy except for the comments. And it's just about humanity what would it do whenever you're put up in a peril where everyone's gonna die unless you make it to this bunker and basically it it it, it makes you ask the question what would you do to survive what would you do to ensure your and your family's survival you know would you kill someone would you steal someone's car their their form of survival you know i, I wonder if you'll ask those questions in this one i'm sure it will because you're gonna you're gonna meet all kinds of crazy people i'm sure in this movie and that's what the opposition is going to be and we're gonna have this perfect family that's going to try to help everyone out obviously you don't want to hate the main characters in this one but yeah i mean man humanity humanity loose basically just no rules basically it is just a fight for survival it can get crazy all right what about you guys what would you rate this we're gonna say five of us watch a four will watch a three may watch a two may not watch or one won't watch let me know in the comments below explain your reason why if you like my content please consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down down below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next vid